Hi everybody, Brittany Berry here. Thanks for joining me today. Let's learn how to make a layered paper effect Photoshop action. So let's open up Photoshop and start off by making a new canvas that's 12 by 12 inches, RGB color, and 300 DPI. Okay. Now first, go ahead and make a new layer. Using your ellipse marquee tool, hold shift while clicking and drag across the screen to make a circle. Then select a shade of blue from your swatches and hold down Option and Delete on your keyboard to fill it with blue. Duplicate the layer by holding down Command J and shrink it using the Transform tool, or Command T, centering it. Let's make it a lighter color of blue by adjusting the value in Hue and Saturation. Hold down Command and U and slide to adjust it to a different shade of blue so we can see the difference of what we're doing. Make a group out of each of these layers by selecting it and holding down Command G. Select the light blue circle layer, go to the play button and press the new action button. Name it layered paper. I personally like to assign it to a function key, but you don't have to. Once you've named it, click the record button. Go to your layers panel, then down to your add layer style button and select bevel and emboss. You want your style to be inner bevel, the technique set to smooth, depth at 100%. Not pulling it all the way up, but the number. Direction should be up, size 7, soften at 0, the angle should be 40 degrees, with the use global light on, and altitude at 30 degrees. Gloss contour should be the straight angle, with anti-aliased not on. The highlight mode should be screen at 50% opacity, and the shadow mode set to multiply at 50%. Click OK. Then go down to your Add Layer Style button again and select Drop Shadow. You want the Blend Mode to be on Multiply, the color to be code 1D2447. The Opacity up to 80, the Angle at 40 degrees, the Use Global Light is checked on. Set the Distance to 40, Spread to 0, and size to 40. The contour should be just this basic one with anti-aliased off, noise all the way down, and layer knocks out drop shadow on. Click OK. There are a few more things that I personally like to include in my action button, but if you'd like to stop there, you can go ahead up to your action panel, press stop, and you'll have the action ready to go. I personally like to take it a step further to help me with my digital painting process by adding two more layers, one set to overlay and the other set to multiply. The overlay and multiply layers can come in handy for when you are adding specific lighting and shadows to your artwork during your painting process. If you'd like to add these layers and you haven't pressed stop yet in your actions window, go to your layers panel and click the new layer icon. Rename this layer M for multiply. Set the layer effect to multiply and drop its opacity down to 16%. Now create another new layer. Rename this layer O for overlay. Set the layer effect to overlay and drop its opacity down to 19%. Go back to your actions panel and click the stop icon. And there you have it. Let's test it out. Go ahead back to layers and click the dark blue larger circle. Go back to your action panel and select the action we just made. Click the play button or press whatever function key you assigned it to. Let's watch it go. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. I hope this video was helpful to you. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments down below. And if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to click that like button, the subscribe button and the notification bell for more fun tips and tutorials. Till next time, thanks so much. God bless, bye.